Hi, welcome to Stability and Simplicity. We are Jeff and Jaron Thompson, and we thank you for joining us today. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness, there's so many things to talk about right now in our day and time, but today we would like to talk about limitless. We serve a God who is limitless. The only thing that he is bound to is his word. Mm -hmm. And in his word, he tells us that he will never violate his word. Because we hear people talk about, well, you know, God can do anything. Well, no, he can't. Number one, I mean, most of us know he cannot lie. He cannot violate what he has said. Because he has said, I put my word above my own name. Mm -hmm. And don't ask me for the scripture on that one, but it is in there. <clears throat> uh, so many times it's hard for us to partner with God in his limitlessness mm -hmm. yes. in our limited world. Right. It's like we have to stop and be intentional and figure out what that looks like and mm -hmm. how that is. And so that's yeah. why I'm excited about today. Yeah. Well, in this realm, I mean, if we, even if we, if our lifestyle doubles, our quality of life, if mm -hmm. you will, doubles, then that's pretty limitless. Yeah. And that's, and that's a big thing. But think about what God who created everything, he created the universe. And for any naysayers that say, well, did he create evil? Let's don't go there today. But God created the universe out of just a thought. And he spoke mm -hmm. and everything. And science has proved this. Everything is made out of sound and light. Mm -hmm. And so God's the first thing God spoke into this existence is light. Light be. And everything is down to the subatomic particle right. is there. But... Life coach Stephanie Raquel once made the statement, we serve a limitless God who can redefine our labels no matter what we've done or what has been done to us. And that's pretty strong. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people who, and ourselves included, this is actually how we got together. Life, by people's standards, say, man, life kicked you around. Life did you wrong. Well, yes, no. Yeah. Life happens, and life is always going to happen. But yet, God, in His infinite wisdom, rewove our lives. It was like, okay, here's Jeff, here's Jaron. Okay, this happened to Jeff, this happened to Jaron. So these two kids need to be together and woven together. Yep, and grateful. Oh, <laughs> beyond happy. <laughs> yes, a life of which is inspired by love songs, is for real. But anyway, Psalm 145 verse 3 tells us, God is magnificent. Yes. He, can never be, he can never be praised enough. There are no boundaries to His greatness. Mm -hmm. And Psalm 36 5, Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the sky. And, okay, we've established God is great and God is good all the time. And God is limitless. But as to put this in real world terms and in real life terms, uh, I found this intriguing in Isaiah 66, 9. I will not cause pain without allowing something new to be born, says the Lord. Amen. And, and that's not that God brings about pain, but he's talking about a, a, a new birthing here. And all of you females who have given birth, you know, there's much pain involved with it. Creating anything new. I mean, you think about new muscles. You yeah. want to gain new muscles? You have to, it's literally tearing muscles down so they can rebuild on mm -hmm. top of each other. And so that's what creates the bigger muscle. But yet there's pain involved in that. Yeah. So, and even, oh, I'm sorry. And so just getting, getting beyond our understanding of pain is sadness or pain is... You know, because we think pain negative. We don't ever think of it as growing pains in a good way. As iron sharpens iron, that's a pain. <laughs> yeah, we think we think of pain as... Ow! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like God's hurting you. Yeah. And that's not God. No, but even... But like you said, even with... In, in planting new plants and, mm -hmm. and we're going to... Because we love to garden. When you're planting new things, the ground has to be broken. So do the roots. They can mm -hmm. get root bound and you have to break them up. Mm -hmm. And anyway, that, that's that on that. 
but 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 to but to think of what what God said through Isaiah in this, I will not cause pain without allowing something new to be born. I like that. That is that is carrying over. I mean, the talk in this day and time is, you know, oh, you know, we can't put the new wine in the old wine skins. Well, okay, I understand that, and there, it's really, really starting to get worn out a little bit. But yet, but yet, it's so true. We have a new, we have a to us a new move of God taking place, and it is beginning. It, it's not that it's coming; it has begun, and we can say that prophetically. But yet, we can't always just hey throw the baby out with the bathwater because it's it's old bathwater. But in, in in doing the new and doing limitless, we have to change our mindsets. Mm-hmm. Old things have to pass away, and the way we did things 10 years ago, we can't do it the same anymore. We have different ages. We have different mindsets. We have different technologies now. If somebody would have told me 10 years ago, hey, you're going to be sitting in front of a camera doing videos or talking to people on the other side of the planet, I'd have said, uh-huh. Yeah, right. But even, I love the way Emma Stark said it earlier this week, how... Um, we have a natural knack to talk in the past. We, you know, I can't wait until we get back to doing, or mm-hmm. I can't, and it's that negative past getting back to the things all, you know, that we used to do. Right. You know, I can't wait till I get to go back to the cinema. I can't wait till I get to go back to mm-hmm. church. I can't wait till I get to go back to, instead of having that forward progression of, I'm so looking forward to getting to go to the cinema. I'm so looking forward right. to getting to go. And so it truly is a mindset shift. Sure. It's in how you verbalize things. It's how you perceive things. And it's how you think about things. Right. Because getting, you know, always saying you're going to go back to is staying in that same mindset. Mm-hmm. You're, you're not operating in that limitlessness of God. Right. And if you're going back to the cinema, let's hope that they've got some new storylines and not rehashing the old ones. Stop. <laughs> well, but it's true. Author Neil Anderson once made this statement. Perhaps God brings us to the end of our resources so we can discover the vastness of His. Mm, that's and good. In, in saying that, and that's that old going away, you know, I and I've, and I've heard people that came before us talk about the old meetings and the old outpourings and things like that, and, that's, and it's great, and I love it, because there is history there, and matter does have memory. But also... I, I, and I like the way here that, that uh, Trip Prince said it, who was a clergyman and superb writer. If you get a chance, look him up. Every moment of human limitation is simultaneously an invitation to discover the limitless goodness, the limitless goodness and power of God. Amen. So as as we do away with, or as the old is being done away with, I'll say it that way. How much more is on the other side waiting for us? Mm-hmm. The, the adventures of doing new things, yeah. the the excitement that comes with that. First time you and I went to went on an overseas flight, you yeah. know, we were nervous and we were scared, and and hallelujah, somebody kind of held us held our hand and walked us through it. But a lot of it, we were on our own. Well, let's learn this as we go, yeah. and it's been great. And and going to. 2018, we made two international trips, which was a big deal to us, mm-hmm. and both of them in different parts of the world. And the growing experience with that, I mean, it lit a fire within us that, wow, we could we could do this all mm-hmm. the time. And kind of our motto at that point was, have suitcase and Bible, we'll travel. Mm-hmm. But but that was not what God had intended for us. God wanted us to make to get a taste of it, but yet it's not where I'm going to take you right at this time. And and I believe not just us, but also many across the world are, are getting anxious. They're getting a little itchy mm-hmm. to, to go again. And hallelujah, it, it will come. I'm telling you, it will come. We love to quote Philippians 4.13, I can do all things yeah. through Christ who strengthens me. And yes, we can. But we have to make sure that it is Christ who is doing the strengthening. I don't want to be like Joshua in the Battle of Ai when they were going to take this little bitty 
nation. Mm-hmm. And Joshua said, ah, just yeah, take a handful. Just whatever, whatever you need, just take them. And they didn't even go to the Lord in prayer about it and came back with their rear end stuck between their legs, and which is which is not, go- not good for the best army on the planet at that time. But then, okay, we learned our lesson. And so that is, that is the beauty of having the Bible at our disposal. We can learn these lessons without somebody having to chronicle mm-hmm. about us. Man, they messed up big time. Well, and the majority of all of that is just being intentional to go before, go before God, go with God, and just say, okay, here's, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm, you know, looking at. Here's, what, here's what's on our heart. Mm-hmm. You know, what say you? You know, what do you have to say about this? And, but hearing his voice and knowing his voice and his heart and his character and his nature well enough to be able to discern what he says about that. Mm-hmm. Because if Joshua would have done that beforehand, he would have known somebody in Israel camp had... Yeah, had that was a little bit of sin there. Yeah, had, had not obeyed. <laughs> and, but it's, it, it's the same thing in the business world, though, that a simple five-minute conversation or even two-minute conversation ahead of something can deter so much confusion on the back end. Sure. It's the same way with God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as we're, as we're wrapping this up, just know that God is not limiting you. If, if, if we feel like that God's got a leash on us, there's a good reason why he does. Mm-hmm. And, and most of the time it's to protect us from ourselves or even protect us from somebody else. Mm-hmm. And, it's, it's, that's not a bad thing. I am so thankful for the rebukes God gives. I'm so thankful for the, for the correction he gives me personally, mm-hmm. especially if I'm about to say something by, no, I'm not going to say that because I'm not going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> and, but, but know that especially, and, and this, this is a prophetic statement, know that as the world is going to open back up and it will open back up, Right now, most of us can't see it because there's so many restrictions and there's so many things going on that, man, is this ever going to end? Yes, it will. And we'll get to that in another video. Anything else, love? Just to encourage everyone, uh, if there is something on your heart right now at this very time, there is a way for you to walk that out. Maybe not according to your perception or how you see it, but Mm -hmm. there's a training ground that you could be walking through right Mm -hmm. now. There is Mm -hmm. something that you can be doing as preparation for that final walkout of mm-hmm. what God's put on your heart. So yeah. once that gate's opened up for you. Yeah. So use this time now to prepare yourself, prepare your resources, prepare your faith, prepare all of those things that are on the inside of you. You know, it's walking out a healing journey with a, a good friend. It's just kind of like when you can't When you can't see or believe for the healing to take place all at once, believe just for one little bit at a time. Believe for a journey. And that's what right now I just want to encourage everyone. Just don't give up on the journey that God has Mm -hmm. you on. That it's limitless and you can walk out of it more prepared for whatever God has for you than when you came into it. Amen. Don't waste it. Amen. So anyway, thank you again for joining us today. Please check us out at jeffandjaron.com mm-hmm. and we have our blog. We have all kinds of fun things. Like us on Facebook. But in Jesus' name, may the limits that have been placed on us all mm-hmm. be lifted in God's appointed time yes. and the limits lifted in God's way. Yes. So in Jesus' name, you are blessed. Know that you are loved. And in all things good, yes. God has created for us all. Yes. And they're yours too. Thank you. Many blessings, y'all.